Alright, let's talk about the minimum number of operations to move all balls to each ball. So in this question, you can actually go through it. So basically, you have to move every single other ball to current index, current index. And then you have to find out what are the moves for the current index. So I'm going to just brief, briefly talk about the first solution. And then I will just quickly jump to the next one, next solution. So here's it. So uh, for, for this 110, one, right? And then you have to traverse twice. So what do you mean traverse twice? I'm using for loop and for loop in. So there's a for loop inside a for loop. Nested for loop. And this is going to be my i. This is for going to be my j. And if I see a value uh, from index j, I'm going to see, oh, okay. If I see a value on the j, I need to just update my uh, inner rate for the index i. And then I use the uh, absolute max. Uh, absolute math operation so j minus i and i minus j are going, are going to be the same step from outer index to the current index right so um here's it right so in array we go equal to new int and then uh i need to make a habit to just store the uh, equal to box and then i need to pass in the length of the uh, length of the a size of the a size of a size to the inner rate. So I'm gonna return result. So again, I'm gonna pass traverse. Sorry, traverse twice. All right. Now I need to know how do I actually check if I have a ball in the index. So which means there's a one inside the array, right? So if uh, box dot char at a uh, at j. To be honest, is that equal to one? Then you need to keep updating your current index, which is i plus equal. To be honest, and then what do you actually need? You need to have a difference, so which is method up and then i minus j. So this is the index. Uh, how many times you need to jump for others index to to the current index? And this will be the first solution. So. Yeah, so let's talk about time and space. This is going to be space all of them. This is going to be time n squared. And this is a solution for the first one. Now, uh, let's uh, dive into the second solution. So this solution is a little bit challenging for sure. And you have to master this idea. So, um, so I'm not going to repeat the question, but here's the idea. You need to traverse in the ridge from beginning to the end, right? Right, so this will be going right and also going left individually. So I know uh, when I have an inner array, just traversing the left, right, inner array. So this is going to be in in, and this will be storing going right, be honest, and also left. I have two inner array. So this is only storing the value going right, and the L represent inner array, L represent going the array. From the end to the beginning, that will be uh, going left, right? So in this case, our input is 110, right? And then our initially, uh, this is going right, right? So in array R. So I'm now going, I'm, I'm going to get uh, the size of N. And then initially, this uh, this is default by 0, to be honest. So for every single time, you need to start from here, right? You're not starting from here. Because I know I need to updating. So this is what this is actually zero. I don't need to add every single I did, I don't need to add value for this current index in some in uh in array R. And in this one, I know uh I need to find out what's the previous value. Uh, and then I will say okay. Now since this is zero and then this is one I need to say okay, I need to update it to one. And then I, when I update the value, I need to add the current value one, so which is two in this case. So here's it. So I will traverse on the next index, I will say okay, two. All right. So uh, if you see an order pattern, be honest. So change another part. I'm not going to touch the first index. And then when I want to traverse, I need to see, okay, I need to check the previous index for my R, for my R. So it's going to be R minus one. Plus, um, the value that I uh, have, which is one, 
and afterward, right, I need to update my R value. So this is actually my R value, I'll be honest, right? But I will add a value first and I'll update later. So that will update my value with my current index. So now it's two. Then I will just uh, keep doing this. But so I'll just put a two over here. So this will be the same idea for what? Going right, uh, going left, right? So you will have to traverse the array going left. So from the begin, from the end to the beginning, right? So zero one one, and I'm not going to touch a touch the last index, right? Last index is always not the worst. I mean, you don't need to add every, add a number when you're going left, right? So this will be zero. So uh, when this is zero, my L val is actually zero, right? So I would say L val plus uh, L I plus one. This is L array, right? And then this will be what? This will be uh, zero because zero plus zero, right? And then I got zero. And then now, uh, when when I traverse this one, right? And then I will get what? Uh, I should get what? I should still get uh, get one, right? Because zero plus one, that will be one. So from zero one two and one zero zero, right? You have to add everything else, so it will be one one two. All right, so this is solution. So you have to you have to draw on the paper. I'm not going to uh, help you through it. So draw something. And I need a term value. I need a L val, L array. I need a R array, right? And then I need to traverse from the end to the beginning. I need to traverse from, I mean, from, okay, this is from beginning to the end, and then this is from the end from uh, the end to the beginning, so this will be i minus 2, i greater to 0, and i minus 1. Alright, now I need to just have my first, val first value for my, for my uh, right, right, so this will be what, dot, dot, char, at, at, zero and then since this is a chart i need to subtract the uh, uh ascii zero right and then what do i do and then i need to find out my current value current value is what uh then copy and paste current value is this all right so if i have a current value and then I will just say, okay, now this is going right, right? So right at i, so the right at i minus 1 plus, uh, this will be what? Well, this will be r value, right? So this will be initial to be 0, 0 plus what? 0 plus 1, right? So I will get what? Uh, I will get one. Zero plus one, I will get one and I will update my R at one. Yes. So uh this is index one, right? This is index zero. Zero plus one and then and then uh at R index one is one. And then uh I need to update my R value with my current value. Right. So you will add a value to the inner array R and then up, update your current, I mean, update your R value with the current value. So uh, this will be exactly the same idea for L, right? So this will be, this will be L. This will be what? This will be L minus one. I, I need this. Current value. And then I need what well, I need to know my L at I equal to L at I plus one, right? When you're going left, when you're going left, you need to add your uh, right value, right? And then you plus L val, update your L val with the current val. Right, so afterward you need to add a value for the L and right. So what does LR array mean? 
So imagine you are at this position. I need to know at this position how many value when I go in left and right I need to uh, get across, right? So I will just add uh, the value to be honest. So at, a, at least at least in this. So R and L array will store in how many steps you need to cross. And this is pretty much it. So in the array A equals the I less than I plus one. For every single R A I equals to what L A I plus R A I and you have to return results. Alright, here we go. So let's talk about the time and space. This is going to be a space, all of them, even though you create three array. This is going to be a time, this is going to be a time, and this is going to be a time. And everything is what all of them, right? Everything is all of them. And this is a solution. Time and space are the same. And this is a little bit challenging for the second solution, but think about it. And I'm, I might not explain pretty well, but you have to draw on the paper to actually get through what is the meaning for the question. And this is the solution. And I'll see you next time. Bye.